Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today, Sister Rebecca has agreed to share this moment with us. After many months of asking about Islam, she has finally decided to make this up on her own free will. Is it true? Correct? Yes, correct. Yeah? Okay, okay. But before we begin, I can share a bit about yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Rebecca. Uh, previously, I was a Christian. Actually, I've been a Christian since 15 years old. It's been about 10 years, no, uh, 8 years since I became a Christian. What made me convert to Christianity? Actually, to be honest, I don't know. Because the pastors, they all tell me, oh, it's a command from God. So, but they didn't really educate me on a lot of things. But I just converted to Christianity because it's a command lah, yeah. Actually, all the while, I didn't know that Christians believe in the Trinity. That's the funniest thing, right? Because their main core belief is the, uh, the Trinity, but actually I didn't know anything about it lah. Yeah. Yeah, so after that, I've been a Christian until I met my current partner. He's actually a Muslim. Yeah, then initially I was quite Islamophobic because growing up in a Chinese family it's very difficult for us to accept Islam because of all the things we have to follow like for ladies we cannot wear shorts or show too much of our body parts unlike Chinese we always like wear shorts, singlets, all this right yeah. and we eat, I mean Chinese mainly we eat pork a lot yeah so it's a very difficult thing to suddenly cut all those things yeah but over the year, yeah, following my partner, Alhamdulillah, I managed to stop eating pork and don't drink alcohol. Yeah. So, so uh, what made you sacrifice all that lifestyle that you once had for Islam? What was the real reason that made you want to do that? Okay, uh, the actual reason is because all the while when I'm, being, when I'm a Christian, I feel like my belief was always one God. So... All the while, I've been a Muslim unknowingly. La. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't know like Muslims, I mean, Muslims believe in one God also until I met my partner. Yeah, so after knowing that the belief of Islam is the one God, yeah, so it made me want to be part of Islam, I mean, be a Muslim. Yeah. The misconception people have is. I become a Muslim because my partner is a Muslim, I'm going to get married and I become one, right? Is that the same for you or is it truly this is what you're ready to take on? I mean, it's not true that it's because of my partner that I convert. La. I Actually, last year I told my partner that I would never convert. Maybe because I didn't really put in effort to find out. Only until recently I put in effort that I realized, oh, it's actually a very beautiful religion. Yeah. So what was the misconception you had? Uh, a lot of things we can't do. That's why I was very rejecting of it. Like, why can't we do this? Why can't we do that? Yeah, like, why, why we live in a free world? Why can't we do a lot of things? Yeah, so I was a bit rejecting of the idea that we can't, I can't do a lot of things. Yeah. So what made you like now know that the restrictions <coughs> are for something good? Uh, I've been researching on Google. I didn't know that pork, they don't sweat. That's why all the dirts go back to their blood or, some, or their fats. So we are actually consuming all their dirt. And also alcohol, even though the online they say that it has some health benefits, but actually it brings more harm than good. Lah. Yeah, so I read a lot and I felt that what Islam teaches is actually the truth. Yeah. Well, wow, beautifully said. And to add on to her point, you know, we always say that why do we put such restriction on ourselves since we are free people, we can live in a world full of freedom. But you see, the thing about success is we look at our Olympic athletes. How do we win an Olympic competition? They have to put themselves under really strict diets, training, routines, hard work. Then they can win that trophy at the end of the day. They will put themselves through whatever hard work, whatever restrictions, just to win that trophy. And for us Muslims, that trophy is Jannatul Firdaus, heaven. 
and that's why we fight so hard no matter how hard it is to pray five times a day or to eat halal food only and all these restrictions that we have we know that they are for our own good and it only brings us success later on so this parallel that I'm trying to draw for you is to see why we choose to live a harder life here on earth because we believe that there's a better life in the hereafter for us by doing so yeah okay so we want to just say that we are very blessed and honored that you have us in your presence me and you want to bring the camera around to show who is here brother zul brother bila brother ustad isham and brother jun i just want to add that this brings me back to the time when i took my shahada and it's just such a wonderful moment to finally surrender your heart and soul to the Creator, the one true God. So I ask you again, sister, did anybody force you today to, to do this, take the Shahada? No, never, no one. <laughs> okay. Do you know the words to say? Yeah, I know. You know already? Yeah, yeah I know. Okay, <laughs> wow, she already memorized the words. Alhamdulillah. Okay, so just repeat after me. First, you say your name, I. I. And your full name. Rebecca Leong Kaifang. Hereby. Hereby. Accept Islam on my own free will. Willingly Islam. accept Islam on my own free will. Yeah. And denounce whatever past faith that I was from. Denounce any past faith that I was from. Put out your index finger. Okay. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Allah. Allah. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illallah. Illallah. Wa ashadu Wa ashadu Anna Anna Muhammadar Muhammadar Rasulullah Rasulullah And that in English means I I Bear witness that Bear witness that There is no God worthy of worship except Allah There is no God worthy of worship except Allah And that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him And that Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him Is his messenger Is his messenger Subhanallah, Allah Akbar, everybody takbir. Allah Akbar. Welcome to Islam Sister. We have all the materials and all the contacts out there for you to connect with, inshallah. Alhamdulillah. Thank you everyone for watching. Subhanallah. Welcome our sister to Islam and we are very glad to see you in our family. And inshallah we can do umrah together soon, inshallah. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.